Hey Bubble Family, welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be my first video of two this week. So this one I'm going to be talking about Harry and his statement that he made in regards to Better Up, the company that he has signed up to, to support. Uh, so I'm going to be going into this a little bit. I've made some notes to make sure that I get my facts right. So if you want to join me on this little discussion, then please grab your cuppa of choice, your drink of choice. Mine today is coffee and it's usually coffee most days, but you can drink tea, gin, brandy, Baileys, whatever your drink of choice, because it's five o'clock somewhere. So grab your cuppa and let's dive right in. So, bubbles. <laughs> um, so this is video has been, well, many of you have asked me to talk about this particular subject. So I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to do it. Well, because, you know, it is after my own heart, talking about mental health. And, of course, the dastardly duo. Well, in this case, half of them, <clears throat> Harry. So obviously, before I get to that, I will do the waffle, which some of you like, some of you don't like. Um, if you want to skip that, I will put the little timestamp below here and you can just skip right along. So, yeah, so today I'm in my bedroom. Uh, poor little Arthur's not feeling too great. So I thought, you know, two birds, one stone. I'll come up here, do the video up here as a you know, bit of a change of scenery, but also to keep an eye on the poor little guy. So um, got a bit of an ear infection. So, yeah, sad face. Uh, it's funny, isn't it? I don't, you know, I don't like it when anyone's ill in my family, but it's when your pets are ill, we kind of feel a bit helpless, you know, because they can't talk and you know they're in pain and they're suffering. So it's, you know, you can only do what you can. Uh, so I'm really also, I just want to apologise to anyone that kind of saw the uh, technical difficulty, diff difficulty that I had with my live last week. I don't know what happened because I did the live on the Sunday, which was the impromptu one. Fine. Absolutely fine. Then went to do the live in the same way on my computer. And it was like, computer says, no, you don't go live today. So I was just like, uh, what's happening? So <laughs> I tried literally, I deleted, tried again. And, and I was so frustrated because it was the one that I'd literally planned. I did it all properly. And I, cause I'd seen people kind of go going live in five hours. So I was like, Oh, I'm going to do it all like really kind of exciting and posh. And, and I did it and it come to the countdown and I was sitting here and I was like, why is it not turning on? Uh, what's happening? I think. And I could see people commenting and it was just like my face going, <laughs> I was just like, um, nothing's happening. <laughs> press the button, press the button, nothing, nothing, nothing. So I was like, okay, so I come out of that, deleted it, come out. Then I thought, well, I'll just go, just go randomly live. And yeah, just buffering, nothing. So I was like, I don't, I don't, still don't know what the problem was. Obviously, I've got to look into it. But yeah, uh, but you're also patient. And I'm really sorry if some of you had to go off because I think I ended up coming on about half hour later. And in the end, I had to do it on my phone. But the problem was on my phone, I couldn't see all the comments. They were going past so quickly that I couldn't see everyone's um, questions. So I do apologise. So going forward, when I do my lives, I will obviously give you notice because I know that some of you um, need that notice. I will try and do different times to get everybody in because I know that you are all different time zones. But I also thought I'm going to do specific topics. So the next live I'm going to do, I thought just to kind of get it out of the way, I will do Harry and Meghan. So you can ask me any therapy related questions in regards to Harry and Meghan or any normal questions on regards to Harry and Meghan. So I thought if I do specific subjects, then in a way the questions are not so random. Um, perhaps I can kind of keep up with them and perhaps some of the comments are almost similar. So you kind of, if I answer one, it might answer another one. Um, and that way then, you know, you can just come on and, uh, and just chat to me in general, but just, yeah, the questions are going to be specific. And every now and again, I will do a random so you can come on and literally ask me anything. Um, and, and I do mean anything. I mean, obviously, if it's it's incredibly personal to you, then I always advise to email me in because sometimes the answer will be a bit more lengthy and a bit more personal. And I can't really do that on a live. Um, so please always utilize that. 
So, right, waffle over. Oh, one more thing. Please check your subscriptions because for some reason, lovely YouTube likes to go in and unsubscribe people. Don't know why, don't know the reason behind it. I just don't get it. But I've had a few people say to me, I've just gone in and checked and I'm unsubscribed. Please do because I'm really, really trying to get my numbers up. If my numbers go up, YouTube it, it affects the algorithm, it affects my views, it affects what I'm doing on the channel, I get more support, I get more help, um, and the more I kind of get recognised, the more I can give back. Um, you know, I really cannot stress enough how important this channel is, not just because I love doing it for what I'm doing, but also because it does help people. I cannot tell you the amount of emails I get from people, the amount of people that want therapy, but unfortunately, I... I can't afford to give them therapy. The money that I get from this channel goes towards helping people for free. For people that struggle financially, people that are on benefits, people that are on welfare, people that um, live in perhaps countries that they just cannot get access to therapy. Um, for example, I'm helping one lady at the moment and she's working in Uganda. Um, and so she's, you know, she's out there, she's volunteering, she's helping people. And so I'm helping her. So it's, it's these people that I want to reach. It's anyone that is really struggling financially that I want to reach. But to be able to do that, I need to get the numbers on the channel. So say, for example, I get paid on the channel, then I can offer a slot to somebody and do open-ended therapy um, which would normally cost, you know, X, Y, I'm not going to say how much, but it's a lot of money to do private therapy. Um, but they get it for free. So just to explain to you guys, that is what I'm trying to do. It's not that I'm sitting here trying to go and line my pockets. Um, it's so I can pay my bills, but I can also then help someone who has no money or really struggling um, and cannot afford to pay hundred dollars or however much you know pounds is for for private therapy and the waiting list for some people to go on to kind of like for example like government set up therapy is just too long um so yeah so that's what i'm trying to do sorry waffle went on a bit longer but i will put the timestamp in so if you want to go then straight on to this which i'm going to do now talk about harry let's dive right in so let me have a drink first Liar. I feel like I need the coffee for this one. Need the coffee. Mm. Harry, right. When I saw his speech, when I suffered through it, because I do suffer through it when I actually listen to anything that they do. And unfortunately, when you're talking about something, you kind of have to listen to them both because I want to make sure that the facts I get are correct. Um, and it, it's literally like nails down a chalkboard for me. Harry, in my opinion, has zero, zero qualifications or zero experience in offering advice to anyone in regards to mental health. The closest he's come to it is actually having therapy himself, which I would be inclined to think hasn't really worked and I'm not saying this about the therapist he was involved with because as a therapist you can only go by what your client is telling you so it's two things either the therapist missed something with Harry um didn't kind of support and help him enough or Harry wasn't particularly honest within the session and or he didn't do the work um, and I'm probably more inclined to believe the second um so yeah, so let me just like I say, make sure I look at my notes. Better Up. Now, Better Up is a company that is supposed to support mental health. It's supposed to. Now, bearing in mind this company is worth, let me just look at that, $1.25 billion. $1.25 billion. Now, bearing in mind, they also charge $499 a month for you to have the luxury of a coach. Now, obviously in pounds, that's just under 400, depending on the exchange rate. That is a lot of money. Now, I don't know what therapists charge in the, in the United States. I have heard it is a stupid amount of money. 
and each to their own and you and, and you get some over in the UK but you can also find cheaper therapy private therapy in the UK therapists can range from 45 pounds which is around 65 70 dollars say um an hour up now it's still a lot of money that is still a lot of money but it is a lot cheaper than 499 but bear in mind these are employed these are the employers that are paying this not the employees even though you can as a singular person go in and, and i think it's a bit less but still pay for a coach now the coaches and i checked into this the coaches are paid the ones that work for better up are paid around 50 pounds an hour which is around 70 dollars an hour to work for this company now it might be slightly different, but that's kind of what, what I've been looking at. Now, then you've got tax on top of that, you know, so expenses, et cetera, you know, getting to and from work. Or, I mean, even if you work from home, you've still got electricity, you've still got those things you've got to factor in. So that's not a lot of money for these coaches to be paid, bearing in mind how much this company is worth. Um, and this is funny because then, they, you know, they're promoting um you know better mental health and you know and this is supposed supposed to work and what also is that apparently um they have done these surveys to say that people have benefited from better up well of course they're going to do those surveys but what's interesting with surveys is is it doesn't tell you how many people they've actually surveyed so even though it's like with everything you know when you go on to any review or anything you know you always look at the positive ones you know and they're usually coming at the top um but if they if they've you know kind of done this survey on a hundred people and 70 percent say 70%, which is what I believe they're, they're, they're kind of saying, is 70% of people are really benefiting from this. Well, that's that's not many people. That's seven, that's, you know, that's, say, say a thousand people, that's 700 people that have, that, I mean, it's still a lot, but it's still about percentage. You know, how many, considering how many, you know, people probably have signed up to this, you know, have they done the survey on everybody? You know, and I and I would be remiss to think that perhaps they haven't. So getting to Harry, who has said that he has benefited from being in Better Up and using their service. Well, again, of course, he's going to say that he's hardly going to sign his name to something and go, do you know what? It's awful. It's rubbish. I'm not I don't even know why I signed my name to this. You know, of course, he's going to big it up, so to speak. Um, but you have to then look at facts Harry has gone on and spoken about this particular um, company that he signed up to and he has said that he's benefited from it. But yet, going back to the history, firstly, and we and then we say this allegedly, he couldn't even help his wife. Now, all right, this was prior, but he would still have been in therapy. Um, he hasn't taken into consideration what he's done to his family, his father, his brother, his sister-in-law, his grandmother, more importantly, when he sat down on Oprah with his wife and literally verbal projected so much misinformation and disinformation. Do you know what? I'm sick of using those words, actually. Just outright lied, let's be honest. It's outright lied on, on, on a global platform. Didn't think about his his family then, didn't think about their mental health, because as long as Harry's all right, as long as Harry is able to talk about his feelings, that's OK. And there's nothing wrong with that because I promote that. But you do it privately. You go to a, you go see a therapist, you go speak to somebody privately, you go speak to your friends, go and you don't sit down on a global platform and literally trash your entire family on the back of the fact that his grandfather was ill dying in hospital with no thought for any of his family any anyone apart from himself so you have that then he then went on oprah again and spoke about his father and his childhood and again trashed his father on tv again not caring about his father's mental health and yet he promotes mental health and how it's really important to not have burnout so to speak and then we have the fact that he signed up to Netflix, him and his wife, who 
portrayed his father to be terrible, portrayed his own mother to be kind of hysterical. We had the Diana musical. Was he bothered about that? Did he speak out about that? How terrible that was? Nope. Because why? Because it benefited him. The whole thing benefited him. Did he care about the fact that his friend, Orlando Bloom, was the voice in that satire cartoon which portrayed his nephew, George, I believe, you know, in such a terrible way? Did he speak out then? Did he, did he speak out then about mental health and how this was wrong and this could affect his his nephew growing up and this this could is also affecting his his brother this could be terrible and i do not stand by this did he did he stand up then nope why because it didn't benefit him you know he was signed up to netflix so it didn't benefit him and then obviously then we have the new one with obviously the stuff with joe rogan but of course in in they come they jump on this bandwagon and they threaten to pull themselves from spotify and i will do another video on that um you know, so everything they do is is about themselves, this selfish need to promote themselves, to create themselves, to jump on any bandwagon, no matter what it is. And this is a new one. It's a gimmick because if companies cared about mental health, you know, and this whole thing about burnout, burnout is usually not in all cases, but usually caused, especially in companies, because the employees, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the employees are under pressure. So they are working exponentially stupid hours to get work done because the bosses are putting pressure on them to get this work done. A lot of the time they are doing the work of two, three, four people because they the bosses have let people go, but they're not re-employed people. So then they will put on somebody else to do the work of two, two or three other people. Financial pay. You know, if bosses really cared about their employees, then pay them more. Because half the time overtime is done, half the time when, because that's the other thing, when they're doing so much overtime to make ends meet, you know, because they cannot afford the hours that they're, they're even working because the pay is so poor. So they do more overtime. How many times have you heard people say, even in you, in around you, you know, oh, well, you know, I've got this full time job and there's a chance of overtime. Now, a lot of that, you know, especially in the younger generation is because it, you know, it's too you know, go on holiday is to do all these things. But as we get older and we have a mortgage or we have, you know, financial ties, children, you know, families, you know, people to look after, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> you know, it's, that is, is why people work, you know, because they have, you know, they have to put food on the table. They have to pay their bills, you know, that causes burnout. So if companies cared about their employees, then pay them more. You know, don't make them do stupid hours. You know, make sure that when they have days off, they are days off and they're not consistently called by their bosses to come back in again on a day off. You know, I, I've certainly got friends who who work full time hours and, and then some. And then when they have a day off, which is very rare or they take some holiday, the bosses are calling them up, asking them questions or or saying, oh, you know, do you know what someone you know, called in sick? Could you please come in? And sometimes people feel obliged to do that because they're either in fear of losing their job or they maybe need the money or they just feel intimidated because the boss has asked them. You know, it's the responsibility of the boss and perhaps not to put that on their employees, you know, especially knowing that fact, especially, you know, if they've got an employee employee that is a kind of a, a people pleaser, someone that just doesn't really know how to say no, you know, and, and don't get me wrong. Of course, these are things that people can work on themselves, but sometimes they don't even know they're doing it. Sometimes they, that just is who they are. And until someone kind of points it out or perhaps they crash and burn in a sense, then then perhaps that's when they start looking at things. So this whole thing with Harry of, you know, of, of kind of standing up there on this platform and saying how great and amazing this is. And don't get me wrong, I'm all for supporting mental health. But it's it, but to me, it's a gimmick. You know, I know there are companies out there that do care about their employees. And I'm not so I'm not putting all companies in this, but there are a damn sight more companies that don't, you know, have a therapist, employ a therapist on your company time, on your company dime, employ a therapist. So your 
employees can go and speak to somebody because sometimes there is it's not just about the work issue sometimes they have home pressures sometimes especially in men and the suicide rate in men is is very very high still and that is because men find it harder to go and talk to somebody and especially if they work and they are under that pressure to be the pro sole provider and they it's it's just constantly building and so they their home life then gets affected you know perhaps you know there are you know men and women that have just had young children that you know just had a baby and and they're trying to juggle work and a family you know perhaps there are other things going on perhaps someone in their family is ill or dying and they and they're struggling with that but trying to work as well if you have a therapist in your company that they can go and speak to privately that doesn't affect their work then that would help now, I appreciate like what I spoke. We spoke live on the channel with Paula and Trevor. Not everyone, you know, we've talked about the military. Not everyone wants to go and speak to a therapist on base because, you know, you know, or on in their work, because sometimes the stigma of that, you know, they don't want anyone to see them or, you know, they worry about. But then that's a concern within itself because that stigma is still there and it shouldn't be. But it is this stigma of, you know, oh, I can't go and see a therapist because, you know, I'm going to be seen as weak or I'm going to be seen as damaged. And perhaps it will affect, you know, getting a pay rise or perhaps it will affect me getting that promotion, you know. And these are the stigmas that need to change. You know, this is not just about this Harry doing this company and kind of going, oh, you know what, sign up for five hundred dollars, you know, a month, and and all your all your worries will go away. No, they won't. It is not as simple as that. But employ employers can do a lot more rather than signing up and paying five hundred dollars a month or whatever it is that they want to 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 do, to get a coach for themselves. Because this isn't just about you know we'll sign up for this and then we get help within everybody. It's to help them. I'm getting my words out today. It's to help them be better, which would then help somebody else, their employees. And that's not a bad thing. But when you look at the fact that actually everybody could benefit from this, you know, so if you're then as an employer going and paying this and then thinking, Do you know what, actually, I've really benefited from this. And within my company, I'm going to make sure that everybody gets the, the means to speak to a therapist, whether it be we employ a few for the company or whether we give people time off to go and speak to somebody, then great. Brilliant. Because, you know, I totally commend that. But when you have a spokesperson who has gone out of his way to attack his own family, to behave in such a way that actually has caused mental health problems for other people, that's not a great start in my opinion you know because the face of a company should be someone that embodies everything that you stand for and he doesn't he doesn't so this is just a gimmick this is just stick his name on something get him out there to promote it and let's hope we draw some people in you know and then that to me then creates this company in my eyes to be shady because if you're doing that when you actually can see what he's done, then to me, all you care about is the money. You don't actually care about people because if you did, you wouldn't have someone like him as your spokesperson. You know, there are lots of things that we can do. Lots of things that we can do, you know, to look after ourselves from the smallest thing to the biggest thing. But one of the biggest things is money that affects mental health is money worries, which in a way goes to what I'm trying to do on the channel. Because if you have money worries, one of the first things that, and I see this every time, December, for example, Christmas, when it comes to Christmas, the first thing that happens is people drop off therapy because they want to make sure they've got money for Christmas. And I understand it. Of course I do. But that's what happens. As soon as there are money worries, the first thing that goes is something where you you're looking after yourself you know mental health worries you know it goes but the flip side of that is that you will find money for other things you know a lot of women 
for example, will do things externally. And again, I'm not against that, you know, before anyone thinks that I am, I'm really not, you know, I love makeup, as you see, you know, I love, you know, I love getting, having my hair done. I mean, it's been a while, but, um, you know, I, I, I love those things. But the difference is, is I wouldn't put that ahead of my own mental health. But I understand why people do, you know, if they feel low, go shopping, if they feel low, get their hair done, get their nails done eyelashes, Botox even, you know, whatever it is that they want to do, you know, I don't disprove of that because at the end of the day, I'm, I'm a human being. And like I say, I love makeup and things. And I certainly got friends who have Botox done and, and stuff like that. And, and I never would say don't get it done. But when you do things like, for example, stop having your therapy session, but then you go and get your hair done, then you kind of got to look at that. What's what you've got to weigh up? What's more important to you? I'm, you know, I'm talking about people that have no money, you know, people that can't afford, who are struggling to even put food on the table and they're really struggling. Now, obviously those things, it's difficult to change, but, you know, having someone to talk to about it can really help, you know, and, and if I can offer that, then that's something at the very least, um, you know, but there are things that companies can do. Absolutely. You know, better pay, better work hours, you know, get to know your employees, you know, don't just see them as a number, you know, get to know them, you know, and, and see them as people, not, not as, you know, just someone that works for you and, and does that job, you know, because behind the scenes, you know, people have stuff going on. And if they have a place to go to, for example, if they've got worries at home and you give them that space to you know a, an hour a week or an hour a fortnight just to go and speak to somebody even an hour a month is something where they can offload you'd be surprised what a difference that would make to somebody you know but in regards to better up you know this doesn't help the working class people to me this is something that helps you know, these big corporate companies, you know, the people that have got lots of money, you know, that's why they're worth 1.25 billion. You know, you don't get that amount of money, you know, from probably from the working class people, you know. And this is what saddens me with Harry. You know, you've got William who does look after the working class. Yes, OK, he's privileged, but he does go out there with his wife and they do, you know, they go to care homes. They they go visit the little people. Harry doesn't. Meghan doesn't. They don't care about the little people. They don't. If they did, they would have stayed in the royal family and they could have done so much good. She could have done so much good, but they didn't care about that. They care about this. They care about themselves. They care about money. They care about what they look like, how they seem. And they do not care about us. They don't, you know. And that is why, you know, just on a little side note, I, I feel that the titles, you know, if they if they could go, they should go. You know, because as a person who lives in Sussex, you know, it's an association. And, you know, and we are the little people, you know, and they don't care about us. You know, he's gone over there. He's doing what he wants to do. And you know what? Fair play to him. But stop using this we care when we know you don't, you know. So, you know, that's just my thoughts on Better Up. You know, do I think he should be any way associated with mental health? No, I think he's dangerous. I think, you know, thankfully, though, most people, you know, that are using their brain will not listen to what he has to say. But there are people out there that will. And it's a danger, you know, people like him who think, you know, that, that mental health is just a word to throw around. Well, no, it does affect real people. And he needs to look further inside of himself and see his own behaviour before he can start lecturing the rest of us on ours. So that's my thoughts on that today. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe because like I say, it really does help the algorithm and it helps to keep the channel going and benefiting other people. Um, I am doing playlists. So I don't know if you guys have seen, so you can click on my playlist. So if you want something on mental health, Harry and Meghan, or just the Royal Family, or my lives, um, one when I've had guests on, you can click on that specific playlist and you can get access to just those videos. So you don't have to kind of scroll through 
all of my videos to get to one you like. You can go to those playlists and see them. Um, thank you for everyone that has bought me a cup of tea. I will put the link in the description box below. Um, I am very, very grateful to you. Um, and yeah, and for your patience, your kindness, for being the amazing bubble family that you are. I love you all. And I do hope you know how much I do appreciate you. As always, send your love across to Trev and to Paula. Um, and, you know, and hopefully along the way, I will start doing some lives with other people as well. But I do believe in the next couple of weeks, I will be doing another live with Trevor. So much love to you and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh. And she's here. For anyone who's... She's a bit messy. Hair's a mess. <laughs> she is like me. She is like me. <laughs> so here she is. For everyone who keeps asking me for her, she is here. It's just that, unfortunately, like I say, until I get my office done, um, she sits here next to me. It's like my little my little good luck charm. So she is still here. So yeah. So anyway, bye from me. See you in the next video. Love you.